Welcome to this session. We are going to discuss a problem on kinematics, testing on a problem whose velocity function has been defined this wisely. So a particle P moves on the x-axis at time t seconds, the velocity of P is V meters per second in the direction of x increasing where V is given by. So there are three formulas defining uh, the velocity function. In the interval zero to one, the value defining or the formula defining the velocity is 5t. In the interval one to three, the function defining the velocity is t plus four over t squared. And value any value of t greater than three, the value of the velocity is three over nine meters per second. So the questions, so they tell us that when t is zero second, p is at the origin. So it means that before the particle start moving, it is already at the origin. So find the least speed of p in the interval one to three. And then B, sketch the velocity time drop to illustrate the motion of P in the interval zero to six. And then find the distance of P from O when T is six seconds. Now, this first part to find the least speed. So the key word is least speed. So least is the same as minimum. So to get the least speed or the minimum speed or the minimum velocity, first we have to determine the time when this minimum speed is attained. And then from that time, we substitute it into the velocity function within the interval one, two, three. So from calculus, I remember from one to three, the formula defining the function is t plus t plus four over t squared. So that's what we use. So list speed implies that ds dx dt which is the same as B is zero. Really the V dx. So least speed from calculus will occur when the value of the speed, the derivative of the speed with respect to time is zero. So this would be dv dt equals to zero. Uh, this is how you get least speed. If it was the if the question says the point when the particle is at rest is when you say that the velocity is zero, but least speed means dv dt is zero. So in the interval one to three, the function is t plus four. Over t squared, which can be written as b equals to t plus four t minus two, so that we can use power rule to carry out differentiation. So therefore, <coughs> dv dt will be one minus eight t power minus three. So this one will equate to zero. So we'll have h t minus three equals to one, uh, which is the same thing as saying t over t power three equals to one, or t cubed equals to h 
and then you can write t cubed equals to two power three. So this implies that t equals to two seconds. So this means that we attain minimum speed or least speed when time is two seconds. So therefore the specific value of the velocity at time t equals to two will be given by two plus four and then two raised to the power minus two, which will be three meters per second. And then part B, they want us to sketch the velocity timed in the interval zero to six. So part B, so let this be the vertical axis. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the zero, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is time. In seconds. Now, this is the velocity v in meters per second. So let this be one, two, three, four, five, etc. Now, you have to remember that to sketch this characteristic function. So from zero to one, what formula that we use is 5t. So it's like, actually you can break this So we have zero to one, and then we have zero to three. And then we have uh, the function which defines any value of t greater than three. So I'm doing this one so that now we can clearly, so this, this portion is governed by the formula 5t. This portion is governed by the formula t plus t is uh, four over t squared. And this other portion is governed by three four over nine. So four over nine is roughly 0 0.4. So this is 3.4 meters per square second. So from this labeling, so say 3.5 will be, so around 3.4 will be a value. So this would be a straight line. So from six, because this, uh, the function is 3.4 for any value of T up to infinity, but we have restricted our domain from zero to six. So we draw just the line up to at that point. And then in this other case, we have found out that when T is two, V is three. So can plot that point. Two, three. So you have this point, then you also have this point, and then T is one. 
using this function here because it was zero to one, one inclusive. When you put here, you get five. So here we'll have be five. And then if you put 0 0.5 for T, then 0 0.5 times five gives you 2.5. So we'll have 2.5 here with 0 0.5. So what to assure of that this would be a straight line. This would be a straight line. And then this also a straight line. Now this part here, if we put, because we have t plus four over t squared. If I put 1.5, I'll have 1.5. So answer plus four over answer squared. I'll give me 3.27, so roughly 3.3. .3. So I'll have point here. If I put 2.5, so answer plus, over under squared, so 3.1. So I roughly have something uh, like this one here. So it will be a curve. Then I join. So this uh, roughly that's what I have. So that's the sketch in part B. And lastly, find the distance of P from O when T is six. So to find distance when we have velocity time graph, we simply get area under the graph. So part C, we are simply interested in getting the area under this curve. So we can break into three parts, say, this part A from zero to one, and then part B from one to three, and then part C from three to six. So A is actually a triangular shape. So distance, distance equals to area, under the curve, which will be given by area A plus area B plus area C. Now area A is the shape of a triangle, so whose base is one, height is five. So we'll have a half times basic is one, Height is five plus area B, because it's a curve we use integration. So integrating from one to three of this function. One to three, T plus four, T minus two. And then DT plus this C from three to six, this is a rectangular shape whose height is at uh, this point we have, actually we have the answer here as three, three, four, by nine. So three, four, by nine, the same as that one over nine. So that would be the height of the length. And then we did this three, six minus three is three. So we'll have 31 over nine times three. So this will give us five over two plus, so this will be T squared over two minus four T minus one. And then, so this will be now, because I'll be having minus two plus one, 
is minus one. So dividing by minus one, I have this answer just over one. From one to three plus this one, this will be three. That one over three. Which will give me so five over two plus thirty one over three. That is seven seven over six plus. So here will be three squared, which is nine over two minus they put three. So four times three raised to negative one over three minus a half minus four. That will give me nine over two minus four over three. Seven seven over six plus nineteen over six and then a half minus four is minus seven over two, so minus minus plus seven over two. So 19 over six plus seven over two, I get 20 over three. So I have 20. So this nine over two, three squared nine minus four. So this would be two, t squared over two plus four t minus two plus one. So minus two plus one. Yeah, so minus two plus one, that's fine. Minus one, this okay. So, And then B, so B, then answer squared divided by two, and then minus four answer power negative one, 19, yes. And then, so I have, And then minus four, so 19 over two, and then 19 over six, plus seven over two. So this would be 77 over six plus 20 over three. That gives you 39 over two, which is the same as 19.5 meters. So that is what uh, that value gives us. Thank you.